All right, welcome back to White Mountains today. I am joined in studio with Laura Cummings from White Birch Books. Laura, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. You've brought in a ton of stuff for us to go over oh, and look at today. It's always so hard to select, and there's even still stuff left, but it can stay in the bag. That's all right. It can stay. It's good. We brought the whole backpack <laughs> yes. of stuff. We have yes. the U-Haul outside just in case we need more stuff. But right. Um, White Birch Books is really close to here, right? You're right down on, on the main strip there. That's right. We're just down the street. We're just past the park and the new community center. We're, um, if you're headed from here down there, we're on the right. We're across from TD Bank. Mm -hmm. We share the parking lot with um, Pinkham Real Estate. And we have been there. We're in the middle of our 26th year. Nice. And that building is really unique. It really kind of up in that little corner there and it looks like it's you know those really unique colors and stuff on it it's fun we we've had to, uh, over the years we've um we've gone from like blending in and it's like can we please put some yellow so somebody <laughs> could see us and uh so yeah it's a neat building it's beautiful inside i mean i'm very lucky i bought it from the previous owner the woman who um uh, created White Birch Books and built that location, mm -hmm. and so I got to step into it, a very beautiful store. Nice, awesome, and then you know, literally right downtown, couldn't be a better spot really for you. Yes, and now everybody's walking around and out enjoying themselves, so so summer is finally here. Mm -hmm. finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. it was almost too much summer a week ago, and now it's back uh, Right, into, right, yeah. yes, yes. I'm not speaking of the temperature necessarily, mm -hmm. but just, you know, kids are out of school, families are up. It's really a great time. This is such a fun time of year for us because we see so many people who come up regularly, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, we come up twice a year, we come up every time this week, or, you know, um, and this is one of our stops. We always make sure to stop here, and mm -hmm. so that's really fun. And now, and, and right now, you also have that food truck in your in your parking lot too as well so not just can you come for the books right. but you can also come for a sandwich yes cheese louise um, has been there all week i think they're going to be in pinkham mm -hmm. lot this weekend which is basically our lot still but they'll be with us for um going into the next week off and on but they're great kids and it's a great sandwich and they're raising money to go back to college and mm -hmm. so you know how how can you mess with that yeah right that's awesome <laughs> so, so yeah let's let's dig into it a little bit okay. here and, and start talking about some of the things you brought in well the first thing i want to talk about see it's a, i found him it's waldo um many people remember waldo he's you know in the picture books where you know there are 20 million things and you have to find waldo because of his distinctive hat and shirt mm -hmm. well right now waldo is at 21 shops throughout town um throughout the valley and they're all part of our white mountain independence and this is you come into our store and you pick up a little passport and as you travel to the different shops, you find Waldo in okay. all of them, and they will mark in your passport. And if you go to enough of them, um, yeah, <laughs> I wish you moved. Um, if you find enough of them, you can turn your passport in, and you'll get some prizes at the end. That's and awesome. it's really fun. We had a um, a family come in and turn in their passports yesterday, and I wish I could have taped the mother because she said, you know, this is great. I got to go to all these shops I don't often go to. And right. I was like, that's the point. It's kind so, of that adventure because it brings you yes. everywhere. Yeah. And the kids like it. And some places are pretty hard. Um, you know, the Christmas loft is one of them. Oh, no. The yes. Christmas loft is going to be so <laughs> hard. And the handcrafters barn. I mean, some mm. of those places where you could He's going to fit right in. Right. Yeah. And um, so anyway, we've been that goes on for the entire month of July. And nice. it's just a fun thing if families are are going to be shopping, especially if they're shopping in the village. We mm -hmm. do have stores outside of the village, too, but um, he's just fun. Waldo. Is he this size everywhere? He's that size So everywhere. he doesn't get any bigger than this? He doesn't. That's a pretty small little wall, though. But that's a really fun little challenge. Yeah, we have some fun. You know, with two stories, you know, we'll give the kids their first hint is which floor he's on. Mm -hmm. And then, if you know, we don't want anybody to cry. You don't want anybody right, to right. cry. Right, right. I mean, so I know. It kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> so then we'll start kind of giving them hints and giving them, you know, the warmer, warmer, colder, mm -hmm. colder thing. So it's fun. And especially um, when they find them, they get very excited. Perfect. That's so. awesome. That's pretty cool. What else do you have going on here? We've got a lot um, of things on, on the table. Yes, we've got other things. So uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, this book, Eager, which is about... Um, beavers and people everywhere in new england i think kind of have love hate with beavers mm -hmm. they can kind of mess up their property or whatever but um 
this author who is coming, he's going to be with us on August 1st at Perfect. Tin Mountain oh, at cool. 7 o'clock. So yeah, because it's a nature thing, we paired with them. And nice. uh, he is going to tell us how beavers are going to save the world. Nice. That's pretty interesting. Who knew? Yeah. What an interesting... <laughs> beavers are such an interesting animal. I feel like that would be like a spirit animal for a lot of people, you know? They're, um, they're a little bit weird and bumbly. Well, he talks a lot about the history and how beavers did incredibly help um, the early, uh, you know, survival and everything of people as they came to this right. new world. And they do kind of get a bad rap lately, but um, he is all about beavers. I mean, I saw him talk and he's hilarious. He's mm -hmm. got his, you know, damn t-shirt, D-A-M, and everything and all these other beaver accoutrements that he wears. He's <laughs> very funny. That's awesome. So, That's great. And that'll be August 1st at Tin Mountain? August 1st at Tin Mountain. We're looking forward to that. And all, all of our events are pretty much either on our Facebook page or on our website so people can look mm -hmm. at them. What's the website for you guys? Uh, website, whitebirchbooks.com. Oh, that's nice and nice easy. Nice and simple. Perfect. And, you know, if you go to Facebook and you type in White Birch Books, and you can follow us. We post a lot of reviews and um, our events and things like that on our Facebook page. Right. It's kind of, it's, we try to be as interactive. We will be posting this interview Ooh, at some point when man. we're done. Hope so. we don't mess up. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, Perfect. But maybe, maybe I'll tell you about a fun book. Um, yeah, let's do that. This is, this is going to be our, one of our mystery book group reads in a while, and it's called Hope Never Dies. It just came out, and mm -hmm. it's a novel. I don't want people to get upset. It's a novel, but it supposes that in retirement, Joe Biden gets a little bored and decides <laughs> that he, somebody he knows is involved in something, he decides he wants to solve a mystery, mm -hmm. and he calls up his buddy, his bromance buddy, Obama, and says, hey, let's go solve this mystery. So it's fun, it's quirky, it's tongue in cheek. Mm -hmm. They are not actually out solving crimes. Some people have written some, not on <laughs> ours, but on his page, some reviews and things like this. It's totally fictional. Yeah. It's meant to be fun. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, um, so we're looking forward to reading that, and it just came out. That's awesome. It's, it's just, that cover is, is, is incredible. It? Yeah. Just, it's so I just funny. love that. I didn't see Joe Biden in the corner. <laughs> there he is. He's driving the car. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. <laughs> so, so we're looking forward. That's one of our, like I said, our mystery book group uh, read, I think, for September. But we've got it out, and we're looking forward to it. It's, That's and it's fantastic. a lot of fun. It's a very unique mystery read, I feel like. It's a I little bit different. Yes, we're going to have a little fun with that. It's, mm -hmm. We've gone past Agatha Christie, certainly, with something like that. But... Uh, um, Anyway, I, what else to talk about? There's so yeah, many yeah, things so up many here. So many things on here. Do you uh, want to talk about the, uh, sure. the um, soccer really quick? I was looking at this right before we got on air. Right. It's a really cool book. Because um, unless you've lived under a rock for the last, what, three, four weeks, the, three, the World four, Cup yeah. has been going on. And um, so it's all about soccer. And it ends this weekend, I believe, the um, third and fourth. Yeah, uh, we're heading into those final rounds today, pretty soon. Yeah, and the final is um, what is it? Croatia versus France. I think it's Croatia and France. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's live TV, so yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> you can't edit that one out. <laughs> so yes, and uh, anyway, exciting stuff. And I didn't know that I like soccer or not necessarily. I've mm -hmm. watched my son play, but um, I've been watching all my World Cup, and it's great fun. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, and then it's over for four more years. Right. Um, so we have a couple, you know, just your basic soccer things um, and everything here. Tilt him Tilt back. Him back. Yeah. There we go. Um, so just in case you want to get your last minute fix in before the match. Last minute today. soccer fix. Oh, that's a cool book too. Kind of right. goes through and gives you all the rules and the all the different things that yes. happened. This is the 2002. In case you want to see what happened in 2002, the 2002 <laughs> Mexico versus Italy <laughs> goal. They have it here laid out for you exactly right. what happened. Yes, that would be very specific that's stuff. That's awesome. But, right. um, if you're a soccer freak, I'm sure that's something that you would absolutely dive into. Exactly. So the other, just just generally, the other thing about like what's on my table, um, just to let you, so we we are very competitive down mm -hmm. at White Birch Books. And um, by competitive, I mean competitive with each other mm -hmm. as to what we read and um, 
how many books we read and everything. So we've been tracking for this year how many books we've read for the whole year. Wow, okay. So it's, it's ridiculous. When mm. I tell you, you'll be like, oh, she needs to get out more. But <laughs> anyway, um, I'm at, so we were on goal for 100 books a year. And wow. I will say at the end of June, I had read 50 books. But wow. But I'm not even winning. I'm behind. That's crazy. Um, so the reason I tell you this, other than to make myself look a little sad is to... <laughs> I think you look really cool. I feel like that's <laughs> okay. like a badge of honor if you work at a bookstore to be right. reading that many books. Yeah. Um, is to say that we do read our books mm -hmm. and we do have tons of, um, you know, suggestions and thoughts. So when people come in, I mean, we had a family come in, you know, this is my son in high school. He's a reluctant reader. What can mm -hmm. you find for him? And it's like, you know, a little, a few questions and then you can narrow in uh, what he wants. So um, just some of these other things here, you know, this book, we don't even have to pick it up. The mm -hmm. um, Children of Blood and Bone, that's Jimmy Fallon's summer book group book. Mm -hmm. We've read it already. We can mm -hmm. tell you all about it. It's amazing. Right. You have um, that knowledge already. It's perfect. And Call Me American uh, by Abdi Noor Ifton. As you were saying, he's been all over NPR mm -hmm. and that's a great immigration story. We've met him. He's amazing That's awesome. he just lives over in portland it's fantastic right, cool um, story my mother read this one about the woman's hour about the story of how women um got the vote and she like screamed at it a bunch of times like oh my <laughs> god how you know imagining a time mm -hmm. when half the population can't vote scary right um these are just these funny little oh. books, but the thing is they're indestructible. And I could show you, or you could even try to rip them apart with your teeth or anything. Wow. But, um, yeah, it looks like they've got like a, it feels like it's made out of, what's that, is it the Kevlar, Tyvek? Yes, yeah. I think. And so these are for that young child who eats all their books or destroys all their toys. Right, I could use this on everything that I own. <laughs> there you go. Even on the back it says, chew them all on the back. So. <laughs> That's the only book I've ever seen that encourages kids right, to chew right. on their books. Right, right. And, and so I have not personally tried to rip it apart mm -hmm. with my teeth, but apparently Chew -proof, you can't do it. Rip proof, one hundred percent washable. There wow, you go. that's really cool. So you throw it in the tub with the kids. Yeah, when I was in college, I could have used this for some of my textbooks. <laughs> there you go. And um, that's fantastic. So in addition to books, we have just lots, lots of other things, and. Um, you know, I, we have our funny socks. Or yeah, I'm you. pretty stoked about the socks. I was wearing yes. watermelon socks yesterday, and oh, I wish I had wore them here. You know, I get nervous that someone's going to see them and call me out, but <laughs> these are <laughs> some really unicorn. long unicorn. I'm not sure if those are my size, but Probably we're getting, pre not. getting pretty close, though. Um, the cat with the books. I don't nice. know. Nice, yeah, keeping Crazy it Crazy ninja theme. raccoon. And these are high, these are like pretty high socks. These, these are high just. socks, so these would probably be more for, for women. We do have some men's socks, and then we have some lower, I don't know, cats are a theme. Cats, are, cats, cats don't care if you're theme. crazy. There's that one, and then nice. what is this one? My mascara ran, I'm counting it as exercise. That's apropos with the race going on outside today. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, as if, like, they could even be like running socks or something too. So we just really try to have something for everybody. In addition, we have used books that are low price. We have mm -hmm. bargain books. We've just stocked up our bargain section. So it's not all the full price books. Um, it's not books. all brand new books. You have yeah, you can mix too. it up. Um, people spend a little time and go into our different nooks and crannies and they can find some amazing bargains and Great. have a lot of fun. That's awesome. And that's the whole point. And plus you can sit down and um, take your time and uh, we'll be there to help you. So. That's awesome. And if you read outdoors, you're, you're kind of in the best place in New England right. to read outside. And yeah. we've, we've also been encouraging with the Cheese Louise truck mm -hmm. to do your lunch pairings, to pair your grilled cheese <laughs> with a book and take a picture and post it. So That's awesome. <laughs> that, that's, that's what we would think is great. So anyway, Perfect. we're open every day, mm -hmm. um, 9.30 to 6, um, Monday through Saturday, and then 10 to 5 on Sunday. Perfect. Um, Website is open all the time at whitebirchbooks.com. Like I said, Facebook, we try to be really interactive and... Um, and that's it. We'd love to Perfect. have you come in. Yeah, right on the side there. I'll be sure to stop in soon. I've got some. Uh, I've got some questions to ask you. Not you here, go. but. <laughs> I've, you know, I need someone with experience. That seems like the perfect avenue. Well, thank you so much, Laura Cummings from White Birch Books, right south of downtown, not far at all. Not far. Um, come see them. They're awesome, with so many different things to choose from. Uh, and this is White Mountains today. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>